Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I thought I would do an in-depth review of Urban Decay's All Nighter Foundation, which is this one. Um, so I use shade 0 0.5 and um, this particular one retails for £29 and you get one fluid ounce. Now the claims it makes is that it is full coverage, matte finish and that is an oil-free formula. Um, so they're all sort of things that I'm after, especially as I have quite bad skin, I'm really into full coverage. I really like the fact that it comes in a huge range of colours. So I thought I would demonstrate the product for you and just talk a bit more about how it applies and the coverage it gives. So um, firstly, just to let you know, I've moisturised my skin about 10 minutes ago. I used um, Intensely Revitalising Cream from The Body Shop. I used a sample of it that I got the other day. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is prime half my face. For that I'm going to use NYX pore filler. The reason I'm going to go for NYX pore filler over a colour correcting one is because it claims to be quite full coverage so I shouldn't need to go in with a green or yellow primer to counteract the redness. I have been um, using this foundation for um, quite a few months now and um, it's in most of my tutorials but I just don't talk about it that much in depth so I thought this would help. Okay so I've put that primer everywhere on this side feels nice and smooth and then I've got the foundation on the back of my hand so what I'm going to do is dot this over my skin start to spread the product out and then we we'll start to buff it in you can see that this foundation is very pale um, it does match up to my neck my face is a bit more red because um, there's just so much scarring and rosacea and things like that Now I'm just patting it into my skin, not really buffing it at this stage, just trying to get an even layer of it all over. So all I have on the back of my hand is one pump, there's still quite a bit left on the back of my hand and I have managed to cover my whole face. Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder to see that I'm in focus. <laughs> so I have very dry skin, I have a lot of acne and a lot of acne scars but my actual skin is really dry and dehydrated. I don't have oily skin in the slightest. So um, I like to really heavily moisturize before a foundation or a product that claims that it's quite mattifying. Um, I like the pore filling primer from NYX because it doesn't dry out my skin too much like some of them do. Okay, so I think that's one even layer all over. As you can see, it does match my neck. Um, I know it looks extremely pale and I do have a lot of lights around me, but um, yeah, it's a good colour match. So with what's left on my hand, I'm going to pick up a little bit more and now I'll almost use it as a concealer over these areas that I have a bit more pigmentation. I'll zoom you in. So now I'm just going to pat this into place. This product does set very fast, um, which is good and bad. I guess for me it's good because I work quite quickly anyway. Um, I have no need for it to take a while to set and it means that I can get onto the powder products a lot quicker. And it means when it comes to layering it, that bottom layer is set and this actually does sit on top of it quite well. It doesn't lift that bottom layer off. So this spot is huge. So um, it's going to take a lot to cover that, but I think we'll be okay. And then taking more of the same product and a small angle concealer brush that I'm just going to do under my eyes. I'll just take that down around my nose as well and just blend it out. So you can see the difference here between um, where I've covered it again as a second layer under my eyes as a concealer to where I haven't. It's a lot brighter, the colour's a lot better, the skin looks a lot brighter and a lot more even and it's covered my dark circles pretty much perfectly. Um, just to keep in mind with things like these blemishes, no foundation in the world, no product in the world can get rid of anything that is 3D. So um, I am on the last, like the day one of my pack of contraceptive pills, so I've just had my period, so my skin gets really bad in that week. So it's sort of, these breakouts are just on their way back down really, you know, it looked a lot worse about two days ago. So um, it's going to keep that 3D effect, but what it's done is minimise the shine on top, which helps less light reflect off it, and um, it's coloured up the red quite well. I'm just going to pat a third layer on just over that bit specifically. Specifically. 
And you can see overall the colour is really even. There's no more redness poking through. There's just a shadow where it's it's 3D and that's where the light is sitting. But I'm completely happy with that. I spent a good few years of my life with um, massive like sebaceous cysts and things all down here and all across my face and occasionally like on the front of my face so this is nothing. <laughs> so I'm just going to conceal the other eye. And still with the same little bit on my hand so I've just sort of scraped off the last bit. So you can see one pump goes really far. Covered my whole face, my whole chin twice and under my eyes as a concealer. You can see that it's just completely flawless. Um, and if you give it a minute or so, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't feel sticky, there's nothing on my hand. Yeah, I've cried wearing this foundation, I haven't had like the streaky marks, um, and like, it's been really hot and I've worn this foundation, it hasn't sort of separated too much. The only areas where I get that is around the sides of my nose, but every foundation I've ever tried has had that, so, you know, that's just the curves off your face, there's, you know, there's so much friction and whatever there. I don't believe it has any SPF, so generally if I'm going to go outside I'll be wearing a primer with SPF in, either alongside something like pore filler primer or um, just by itself, depending on what my skin's doing that day. But um, it's applied pretty much the same on both. Um, maybe a little bit smoother across my cheeks here where the primer was, but it applied evenly. And what I find with the foundation is that it pretty much does last all day. So it will crease a tiny bit around my nose and here, like where these scars are. But that's just, yeah, the texture of my skin. There's not much I can do about that. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you found it helpful just to learn a bit more about the product because I know I sort of zoomed through the foundation in most of my makeup tutorials. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for something that is full coverage, is a matte finish, doesn't transfer, um, you know, if you hug someone, it doesn't come off on their clothes, which is fantastic. And it's so easy to apply. The closest thing I can compare it to is Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation, which is a lot more expensive. I think that's like £35 or so and um, does test on animals. So it's definitely one I want in my professional kit as well, outside of, um, sort of my own personal makeup bag, really. So I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried the foundation and what you think of it. And also let people know what your skin type is and things as you are reviewing the product, just so that they know what to compare it to and see if it's suitable for themselves. So thank you so much for watching and um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, bye-bye.